brought you a special present. A book? That's right. When I was your age, television was called books. And this is a special book. It was the book my father used to read to me when I was sick, and I used to read it to your father. And today, I'm going to read it to you. What's it about? It's about this beautiful girl named Buttercup and her true love, Wesley. Since the invention of love, there have been seven truly great romances. Wesley and Buttercups was easily in the top three. Hold it, hold it. Is this a kissing book? Wait, there's wait. Miranda, that's fine! You think it's easy to hang on to a good relationship? Wesley! This guy, Wesley, has to climb up the cliffs of insanity. Inconceivable. Doomed to the death. Battle the giant. Inconceivable. And wrestle oh. a very large rat. And all this in the first two chapters. Inconceivable. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. There's a miracle man. What? What? Are you the miracle Max who worked for the king all those years? The king's thinking son fired me. And thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice on it? We're closed. An evil genius. Yeah, that's smart. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes, morons. Did I mention there was a giant? Yes, Grandpa. Thank you. All right, all right. There's also a major case of revenge going on here. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. And maybe just a little bit more romance. Do we have to hear the kissing part? Someday you may not mind so much. The Princess Bride. Not just your basic, average, everyday, ordinary, run-of-the-mill, ho-hum fairy tale.